If there's anything I love appreciating more than a beautiful makeup look, it's a beautiful handbag. And today I'm gonna to be talking about a luxury vegan handbag brand, except they're budget friendly. JW Pay is an up and coming handbag brand that has not only gone viral on social media, but celebrities have been seen carrying their handbags that cost under $100. So I wanted to see what all the hype was about. I purchased six of JW Pay's most popular handbags, including two of their newest styles. I've tried them all, I've worn them all out in the wild, so I could give you the ultimate JW Pay handbag review. So let's get straight into it, but first, if you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda. Welcome to my channel channel where we talk all things budget beauty and sometimes fashion. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. So a little more info on JW Pay before we get into each bag that I bought. This is a Los Angeles based brand. Like I said, they use all vegan leathers for all of their bags, as well as high quality canvases and certified fabrics made from recycled water bottles. Let's get to the first bag. Okay, starting out with what is JW Pay's absolutely most popular bag. There is no way you haven't seen this on social media. This is their Gabby bag. So this is the one that I've seen a lot of celebrities wear, including Hailey Bieber, Megan Fox, and Gigi Hadid. Now I wanna point out that I bought all of these bags from Amazon. They are available both on the brand's website and on Amazon, but it seems like all of them are anywhere from 10 to $20 cheaper on Amazon, and then you obviously get free Prime shipping if you are a member. And on top of that, it also seems like they run sales more often on Amazon than they do on their website. So when I bought this, this was on sale for about $63. Normally on Amazon, it's $79.99 and on the brand's website, this is $89. So as you saw, I unpacked this from a satin dust bag that all of their bags come with. And they also come in boxes that are very nice and sturdy for storage. This seems to be an older design, the marble, and it looks like they are phasing to this green shade for their newer bags. So this is what I would probably call a hobo style bag. It's rather simple and the statement is obviously this ruched handle. We've got the branding really simple at the bottom in this gold detailing which I like that it's kind of understated and it does use a magnetic closure to stay shut. Now this is a true handbag. You are probably not going to be able to wear this on your shoulder unless you are incredibly petite. The handle is just too short and narrow and this is going to sit like right up in your armpit. So because of that, I do consider this to be more of a statement or a special occasion bag, not something I'm going to be carrying with me to do errands. Now, when I unboxed this, it was smaller than I had in mind, but because the material and the style is a little flexible, I am able to pack most of my essentials with me. So with that said, let me show you what I typically like carrying with me in my handbags. So I have my key holder, SLG from Louis Vuitton. This has my house keys and my mail keys inside, and I do have to have my car key on the outside just because it is so bulky, but this does keep my keys from scratching up the inside of bags and keeps them more flat, easier to pull in and out of bags. Then we have this wallet that I actually just started using. It is very much a card holder wallet. I usually have all of these filled, but I don't want you to steal my identity, so I took out most of the important cards. I absolutely love this card holder wallet. It is the most compact thing I could find while also being able to carry all of my cards with me, including like my club cards and even some gift cards. I believe the capacity is 14 cards plus the ID slot. This was also from Amazon. I will link it below. Next up, self-explanatory is hand sanitizer. Even before all of this happened, hand sanitizer was a must in my bag. Same goes for chapstick. This is the baby lips. I know this looks so nostalgic, but they do still sell these and I do really still like them. And the clear one now has S. SPF 20 sunscreen, which is so important here in Vegas. And speaking of the Vegas sun, my last must have is a pair of sunglasses. So these are Ray-Bans, but a few years ago, I did slip them into this soft-sided carrying case because it was easier to fit into smaller bags versus the actual Ray-Bans leather case that the glasses come with. So these are all my absolute must-haves, no matter where I'm going, that I absolutely need. And then 
three things that I'd like to fit in my bags are some hand lotion. This is just one that I took from a hotel. Some powder. This is actually sunscreen powder from Derma E. Again, sunscreen is so important here in Vegas. And this allows me to dust it on my face, even over makeup. And then a Tide pen, just because I am so clumsy, I would like to have this with me. It's not a must. So back to the Gabby. This is just one large main compartment and then there's a slip pocket in back. Everything fits inside really easily. Whether or not the top closes and the magnets actually make contact, that's a different story. I really don't think anybody's gonna be able to reach into this bag and pull things out anyway, so not a huge concern. So I have all of the essentials inside right now. We have the extras on the side. It's not magnetically closing, but nothing's poking out and I'm really not worried about anything falling out necessarily. Now let's see how many of my extras I can fit in. I mean, everything else is just gonna have to kind of float on top here. This is where I start kind of getting nervous. If I can see it, poking out, that's not, that's not gonna work. So this is definitely an essentials only bag. And I did actually just bring this with me on a trip to a wedding and I used it as my purse the entire weekend. I was able to dress it up, I was able to dress it down and it did me just fine. I also did prefer carrying this as like my special occasion bag over a clutch because I feel like wearing it on my wrist or my forearm was just easier and you know, kept my hands free. I think the Gabby is a really nice bag balance between statement style and simple, so you can get a lot of use out of it. I think this one is worth the hype and worth picking up. All right, here we have the next bag. This is the Maze bag. It is so freaking beautiful. Now this is one of their very few bags that actually cost over $100. This was $119 when I bought it on Amazon, $10 cheaper than the brand's website. It comes in only seven shades on Amazon, but they actually have a ton more on their website, so that would be a reason to buy directly from them. Now this design really speaks for itself. It is a truly woven design. It's not just stitched, it's not quilted, and it goes all the way around. Also, this is the softest vegan leather that I have ever felt in my life. It is truly buttery and soft. It does not have that plastic feel to it. I love the puffiness of this bag. It really is a statement. Now I bought the black because I thought it looked so classy. I saw Anne Hathaway carrying this bag in black. My husband thought this looked like a Chanel knockoff. So <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Do with that what you will. Now this bag can actually be held as a clutch. I mean, it's a little puffy for that, but the strap is totally removable. Maybe like an under the arm clutch. Here you can see I've kind of tucked the strap in, but it's just attached to the bag through these interior loops. It is completely removable. This is the buckle, very, very shiny silver detailing on it. And and the strap is adjustable. I was really, really hoping that this could be an everyday crossbody for me, but it is deceptively small. For as puffy as this bag is, it does look a bit bulky, which I understand is the style, but the actual interior usable space is pretty small. So as you can see, we have one main compartment and a zipper pocket. Let me show you how much I can get in here. So we've got my wallet my keys. And yes, I need all of these keys all of the time because I often pop over to my PO box while I'm out, like it's a must. So already the main compartment is pretty full. <laughs> in the back zipper pocket, let's try to fit in my chapstick. When I've worn this, I've been able to put the hand sanitizer in the pocket. It's a tight fit, but the zipper does still close very smoothly without puckering. Now that leaves me with my sunglasses not quite having anywhere to go. And like I said, these are essential to me. And some people might say, well, why don't you just leave your sunglasses in your car? And that way you're not like carrying them around with you. It gets too hot here for that. My husband had the exact same pair of Ray-Bans that lived in his car and the heat warped them. So the sunglasses have to come with me. So there's really no way these are getting inside. Let me see if I can like, really Tetris them in there, yeah, it, it doesn't close because the magnets need to hit 
at the same spot for this to completely close. So it does close without the sunglasses. If sunglasses are not a must for you, then this could work. I feel like this really straddles the line between a functional everyday bag and an occasion bag when it comes to what you can put in it. For me, it's just not clear how I would use this because even for special events, it's almost too chunky for that, but I just can't fit enough in for this to be an everyday crossbody for me. So this one I really do think I'm gonna be returning, which I am pretty heartbroken about. I love looking at it, but I don't really love using it. And that's obviously the most important part. <laughs> And yes, I have tried kind of Tetrising in these products a little differently every time. And it's still just like awkward. It still doesn't quite do it. So unfortunately, the maze bag is just not for me personally. Now we all know that Y2K style is coming back and I bought this purely out of nostalgia, but it ended up being one of my favorite that I bought in this haul. This is the Eva bag. So this was the cheapest bag of this haul. It was only $38.99 on Amazon, which is almost $20 cheaper than on their website. Although Amazon definitely has less colors in this style than are available on the brand site. Also, the photo online made this look like it was a little bit more pastel than it really is. This is a lot brighter than I thought it would be. So this type of croc pattern baguette bag was so popular when I was in middle and high school. I had several purses just like it and I thought that the purple color would also add a fun pop to everyday outfits. This bag surprised me on a couple fronts. It does look pretty small from the outside, especially because I have been used to wear wearing a tote bag as my everyday purse. But because the style is less structured, you can really stuff a lot in here. So let's just go ahead and pack it up. Now this one is just a one compartment bag. There are no slip pockets, there are no zipper pockets. It's just kind of a throw it all in there type of situation. But because it's small when I'm wearing this, I don't feel like I'm struggling to find what I need or digging around for anything except maybe my lip balm. Okay, so we officially have all of my essentials inside and zipping with absolutely no problem. It is also not like bulging. It's still very slim. Now I've only been carrying the essentials in this. I haven't tried fitting in these other items yet. So let's see. Mm, the lotion, there we go. And there you have it. A little bit of bulging from my sunglasses, but everything fits. Also, the zippers on the bags that have zippers are so smooth. They just glide without any friction. So because this fits literally everything I would ever need or want in my purse, it definitely makes it a contender as an everyday grab and go bag and I have worn it like that. The strap isn't adjustable, but it's still very roomy. This is very comfortable on my shoulder. It doesn't sit in my armpit. I do have to take it completely off though to reach into it like if I'm checking out at the store. But this is just such a practical bag. It feels good to carry. It feels very lightweight. It also doesn't slip off my shoulder, which is very important. I like fell in love with this bag. I wanna get other fun colors. I wanna get neutral colors, especially for under $40. I think this one is absolutely a must have. It's just so satisfying. <laughs> All right, this next bag is called the Fay Top Handle Crossbody. This was $79.99 on Amazon, which is 10 to $20 cheaper than on the brand site, depending on the color. Now I absolutely love this bag. It is very simple. It's sort of a square shape. The croc embossing is also not too intense. I'm not a huge fan of like, animal skin patterns and JW Pay does do a lot of that, but I like this one because it's just not like over the top. So this does come as a top handle bag. However, this handle is completely removable and a crossbody strap is included with your purchase. So I absolutely love that they've thrown in that value and you already have more ways to wear this. And because this is completely removable as well, the brand does sell like a pearl top handle. I've also seen it modeled with like a chunky chain handle. So this bag is super customizable. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty small bag. Um, 
Here's my hand on it, if that helps. I have pretty small hands as well. <laughs> and it's also very structured. There is not a lot of give here. What you see is what you get in terms of size and space. It closes with a magnet and it is all one main compartment with a very, very tight zipper pocket. Now I do appreciate when mini bags have just one main compartment because it gives you the best chance at organizing your things to fit inside. My wallet fits vertically, my keys fit vertically, hand sanitizer slips in there. I can slip my chapstick in the zipper pocket, but honestly the zipper pocket is kind of useless. Like it is so tight in there. Like that's as far as I can really get the chapstick in, it's not really worth using. So I'll just slip that in there. I haven't taken the tags off some of them yet because I'm undecided on whether I'm keeping them or not. Now here is the moment of truth, the sunglasses. Now vertically, it's a tight squeeze, but I can slide them in. This uh, top flap can fold down to where the sunglasses actually are in the bag. So this is exactly how I've been arranging my things when I go out with this bag, and it does in fact snap shut. All of the must-haves fit inside, however, pulling things out and putting them back in is a bit of a pain because you have to carefully arrange the items every time. So this isn't what I'd wear out to run errands or other activities where I may be in and out of it, but I've worn this to brunch dates and dinner dates, and it's perfect for that. But it's workable. I think it's definitely the most practical out of all of the mini bag styles that I purchased for this haul, which is actually surprising because to me, visually, this looked like the smallest bag that I bought, yet I can stuff more inside of this one than some of the other ones. Also, I just wanna show you the crossbody strap is not adjustable, it is pretty long. And what you do is on the side, they use these sort of gold carabiner type closures. So you would just push down, slide this off, and then slide this on like that. Okay, the next bag that I purchased was the JW Pay Mini Flap Crossbody. So cute, but this mini flap was sort of a mini flop. <laughs> This bag is $64.99 on Amazon, which is over $20 cheaper than on their site. Now, I desperately wanted to love this bag. I think it's so cute. We have this push lock closure, which is very secure. Inside you will find the crossbody strap. Again, not adjustable and actually a little short on me. I'm 5'4". I've been wearing this just as a shoulder strap because it sits really high on my waist as a crossbody. Now this comes in a ton of different colors and materials. They even have like a faux fur version on their site. I got the ice lizard pattern which is a smaller texture than their croc pattern. I thought that this looked so cool. The texture is just wild. Again, I really, really wanted to love this. <laughs> okay, let me open this up and show you why this just doesn't work for me. So first of all, we do have the compartment split into two sections by this middle divider. There is a slip pocket toward the front and a zipper pocket in back. Now again, this trend of having really, really tight zipper pockets, like it's almost unusable. I don't know what you could slip in here, but it just does not have a lot of room. Maybe a very thin mirror compact, but even trying to get a chapstick in is like really awkward. I think what would have made this way more usable for me is if they got rid of this middle divider and it was just one big compartment. Like I said, with the previous bag, the Fay bag, especially when you're talking about mini bags, having just one main compartment gives you a way better chance at fitting more inside. And this divider just makes these two sections way too narrow for me, which is such a shame because honestly, it's not a tiny bag. If you look at it, width wise and depth wise, like this had so much potential. But let me just show you how my essentials fill it up. Okay, we have my wallet, my keys. It's not really anywhere for my key fob to go. We'll put it there. Um, what else? Okay, chapstick which I'm not even gonna try to put in the zipper pocket, hand sanitizer, and once again, nowhere for my sunglasses to go. And yes, I can close this and have carried it without my sunglasses, it will close. You do have to be firm to get the lock in the clasp as well though. There were a couple times I didn't push hard enough and it popped open. If the sunglasses aren't a must for you, this could work. I just feel like it's so much wasted space because of this stupid divider. So instead of my sunglasses, I can fit my hand lotion 
and my powder and maybe even my Tide pen. Uh, nope, too much. <laughs> Just those three things pushed it over the edge. Ooh. Okay, so no lotion, no sunglasses. It could be workable for some people, but it's just like making me mad. But I really don't feel like I'm going overboard with what I want to carry in my bag. <laughs> and it's just not working for this style. So similarly to the maze bag, I just feel like this straddles the line for me in terms of practicality and how I would personally wear it, which is why I think this one is going to be going back. Now I do wanna point out that even though there are obviously styles that I'm sending back, what works for me might not work for you and vice versa. What doesn't work for me might be perfect for what you need and the quality of these bags are super impressive for the price. The vegan leather does not feel cheap at all. The hardware is super shiny and sturdy. This side ring for the handle is like screwed into the bag. The interior fabric is sewn well. I've not seen one loose thread at all. With the exception of these like ridiculously tight pockets, I think the sewing is really good. I think they just kind of didn't <laughs> consider what's going in these pockets. The piping on the side is all incredibly smooth and even there is no bumpiness at all. And that's better than some Louis Vuitton handbags that I've purchased. And y'all know all about that if you've seen my other handbag videos. So this style is just not for me practically even though I still stand by what I said, it is a beautiful bag. All right, the last bag in this haul is the brand's newest style. And you can tell the dust bag is different from the rest. And this is the one that came in the green box. This is called the JW Pay Lily Shoulder Bag. So this one is $69.99 on Amazon, which is the same price as on the brand site. And all of the colors are available on Amazon. It only comes in four as of now. Now this one was probably the most surprising and I think that this is gonna be the brand's next viral handbag. It's got a very softly structured crescent shape. It definitely stands out against say like the Eva shape, which is more the traditional kind of baguette crescent style. Now this bag really lets the vegan leather shine. When I first unboxed this, I could not stop petting it. It is just so soft and does not feel like fake leather at all. It's not that shiny and hard PU leather. Like this is super soft and smooth. So once again, this is a shoulder bag and the strap is completely removable though it only comes with just this strap. It is not adjustable, but I feel like this has a very comfortable drop length. It stays on my shoulder really well. It doesn't slide off. It is not all up in my armpit. Like this is just a very comfortable bag to wear. Now here's the thing. This absolutely looks like a smaller bag from the outside. It looks like a travel light kind of bag, but despite having this defined shape, the material is very soft and flexible. You do have sort of that hobo vibe to it once you get the stuffing out. And the inside is super roomy. We just have the one main compartment and then there is a slip pocket and everything fits inside beautifully. So let's go ahead and pack it up. My key holder goes in the slip pocket, just makes it a little bit easier. Sunglasses, check. Hand sanitizer, check. Chapstick in the bag, throw it in the bag, throw it in the bag. You can just give it a little shake to kind of get everything in there and super smooth zipper zips up. So everything is inside, it is not overstuffed. We still have the very defined silhouette. Oh, also we've got their logo embossed on both sides where it turns up. I just think that's such a cool detail. This one has been my personal favorite to wear every day. It's easy to style. It can stand upright as well because of the wide base. It doesn't feel bulky or heavy when full. It's super simple and elegant so it can be dressed up and down. Like I said, this is available in four shades, brown, black, white, and lavender. And this is what you're gonna see me wearing most days this summer. For a bag that's under $80, this is insane quality. I love it. Definitely what I think is gonna be their like up and coming style. So I would love to know what you think of JW Pay and which handbag did you like the most? Tell me in the comments below. Today's shout out goes to Addie. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next, which was my last Amazon fashion haul full of night out and party outfits. I'll see you over there. Bye.